I think our stance here is you're trying to compare apples to oranges when you're comparing a 12-month plan against a 36-month plan. Um, what happens is, yes, the 12-month plan may look a lot more expensive, but what happens is as the market moves down and you're stuck in a 36-month plan, it's really hard because those longer-term plans have a higher early termination fee. So you'll be paying a lot more to get out of a plan when if you're, let's just say, are in a 12-month plan, the early termination fee could be lower or Energy Ogre could um, do something to negotiate the rate that you're currently on. Yeah, that's kind of a core strategy for us here is we do factor in pretty much every piece of the EFL. But the idea is for a 12-month contract, I'm actually we're actually able to go back to the provider and negotiate out a lower rate for that term by blending that contract out a little bit farther and lowering that rate without an ETF. The last kind of note is as we look at the futures for natural gas and electricity, a lot of the 24 and 36-month contracts are very overpriced in year two and year three. And so what you would actually be better off is being in a 12 and then executing a one-year contract after that. And that's without us engaging in the blend and exchange strategy where we can front load some of that savings sooner rather than later.